so happy. I am so happy. I have my coffee. I have my protein bar. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. 23 degrees. Winter is almost upon us and it's 23 degrees. And I'm going thrifting today. Of course, I'm taking you guys along. I'm heading to the entrance. It's been a while and there is four op shops that I can see. So yeah, I am, I am so excited for today. It's going to be a wonderful day. Right, you guys I am at the very first op shop let us see what I can find okay I found this belt it's made in Italy black leather with gold hardware ten dollars I mean I don't really need a black leather belt but this is really beautiful quality it's vintage but it's in absolute mint condition i also found this belt this one's six dollars it's a beautiful suede and this one's vintage as well i'm not sure about these belts i don't think i really need them i've got so many i spot a pair of loafers molini Mm, not sure if that's really me. What size are they? 37. Too small. Oh no. so wonky I would trip and break my neck probably so free is great but you know they're not they're not road worthy no they're not pavement worthy they're not walkable shoes the temperature is absolutely sublime just sublime Here we go. I have not been able to film anything on the shop floor because my friends, it's so busy in here. There are people everywhere. But the good news is I found heaps of stuff. I want to show you everything first and then we'll try it on. I'm going to show you the outerwear. I am excited about this piece because I'm really into plaid blazers, plaid or check rather than a block color. So this is by Lisa Fashions. It's $10. Love the colorway, fully lined. Hopefully that'll work. This is a Q black blazer, also $10. It's, look, it's nice. It's double breasted. I don't really need a black blazer, but it might be good stock for my shop. Okay, this navy blazer is vintage and also $10. This one, I don't know. I don't have a very deep navy like this, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
So this little cardigan is made in Peru. It's alpaca. And I mean, it's in a neutral, a zip closure. Look, we'll give it a go. And there was this piece, vintage. This one's $6, no collar. I'm not sure because of these very exaggerated shoulder pads, but I do like the check, the plaid colorway in this pastel blue and cream. Pretty good, right? Now let me show you some pants. Well, these are jeans and they are $6. I love the wash. They look high-waisted. They're a skinny jean. I don't own any skinny jeans at the moment, but I do need a pair to tuck into my under-the-knee boots. And this is the brand. It's called Texan, Miss Texas by Texan. So I don't know, I like them, I hope they work out. So this is a vintage navy pant, trouser pant with a little built-in belt with this gold detail that I really like. They have pockets, which is great, and they're a straight leg. These are vintage, they're vintage Target and they are $5. There's also this pair, which is vintage, $5. These also have pockets, navy. I actually don't have a pair of navy trouser pants, so hopefully one of those work. I also found this dress. It's Target, a size 6, but it's really oversized and long. Look, it might be cute for travel. And it's got pockets. I think cinched in with a belt, this could be really cute. I love that tan colour. And this is the only top I found. It's by Forever New, size 10. Just a very sweet cap sleeve knit. And I think that's a staple. So hopefully that fits me well. So my friends, let us try everything on. Wish me luck. these in the car and then we will go to Vinnie's and then the Red Cross and then we're done. skirt I am just not sure if I'm gonna be able to modernize it I love the houndstooth the colorway is just gorgeous we'll see so this dress is by Derek Lamb 
It's a size two, which is a 10. It's $10. Look, I like the ruching on the side and the way it comes out on the bottom. Love the deep V. I can picture it on, but it may not turn out that way. And these shoes, I'm just not sure. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night So the dress was too small but I did like it I mean it zipped up but as you could see it was just squashing my boobs not flattering the skirt i don't think i could have modernized and yeah the shoes were not love so let us continue on to the red cross they do not like me filming in this red cross so i'm going to be really sneaky but i do see a rack outside a two for five dollars Nothing on that rack, that was for sure. Okay, going in. I got approached as soon as I stepped in the store. I don't know, I, I just don't understand why they have a problem with me filming. They're just so precious about it and I really don't understand why. I'm not filming people, I am purely filming myself and items that I find and it's not a big deal people but anyway I didn't find anything so there may be just one more op shop we can go to I think I'm a little late guys I think she's closing guys I'm home and I'm gonna get stuck straight into the try on haul portion of this video because it's 4 p.m. and soon enough it's gonna be dark so I gotta I gotta be quick and as I was in the car driving I thought to myself the pieces that I found today actually make up a head-to-toe outfit well not toe actually because I didn't find shoes but head to ankle outfit and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try on the three pieces that I found today and style it up in an outfit for you. Okay, so I ended up taking this little knit top. I thought it looked really nice on. I don't know what the fabric is because the label has been cut out, but it's forever new. It's a size 10. It's a beautiful off-white color. And I just really loved it. And I don't have anything like this. I have a black cap sleeve turtleneck. Now I have the white counterpart, it's a high neck, not a turtleneck, but love that as well. And so yeah, I was really happy with that one and that was $5. Okay, with the navy pants, neither of them were ideal. So the first pair I tried on were too tapered in the leg for me. And then the second pair I tried on that had that little gold detail at the front, they were beautiful. I really liked them, but they were just way too big. So I ended up taking these jeans because I do not own a pair of skinny jeans. And so if I wanna wear under the knee boots, I can tuck them into the boots and I can wear an oversized shirt with skinny jeans as well because all my jeans are kind of straight and they don't look good with an oversized shirt just out and yeah so I really needed these skinny jeans look at that wash I don't have any jeans in this wash 
and that's another reason why I really like them. So there is the label, right? I have a feeling that these are made in the USA. Let me have a look. Texan Care Instructions. Miss Texas by Texan. Excellent Texan, guaranteed quality. Well, it doesn't say anything else. I, I can almost guarantee that these are made in the USA. Look at the pockets. They're quite different. I couldn't get a really good look on how they made my bum look, but I'm not really into a skinny jean to be honest, right? But I think I do need a pair because of the reason I mentioned. And these ones are high waist. You know, all the old skinny jeans I used to have were mid-rise, but a high-waisted skinny jean in a vintage old school wash. Actually, these may even be vintage. They do have a little zip on the ankle as well. Don't mind that, if I maybe unzip them, they wouldn't be as skinny. But anyway, I was happy with those. They were $6. And the only blazer I ended up taking was this one. I'm just, I'm just not really into the block colored blazers at the moment. I don't know why. I've got a navy blazer. I've got a black blazer. Those were gorgeous. They really were, but I don't need any more. And I have enough on my shop to sell. So I passed on those, took this one because it's different. It's a plaid. It's got blue, tan, yellow, and cream. And so that's why I just think the cream knit top, these blue jeans, which pick up the blue in this jacket, and the cream top, which works as well, I think it's going to look gorgeous. Anyway, this was 10 bucks, made in Australia by Lisa Fashions. What is the fabric on this? It's a polyester rayon spandex blend and it's a size 14. Look, I may even get my mum to take out the shoulder pads. I'm not sure, but this has pockets and they weren't even unpicked but I'm gonna get my mum to do them because I tried to do them in the fitting room as I was trying it on, but I couldn't find the little, oh, here it is. Oh, wow, it's really, it's really sewn in. Oh, here we go. Sometimes when you find a blazer where the pockets haven't been unpicked, it can mean that, you know, whoever owned the blazer didn't know that you had to open the pockets, yes, but it's also a possibility that it was quite intentional because when you open the pockets of a blazer, it kind of gives the blazer a different shape. But me personally, I just love pockets, especially on a blazer, and the flap on these can be either tucked in, so you've got open pockets, or you can leave it out. So I like that detail, okay. Let me try them on. You guys, these jeans fit me like a glove. I mean, they are just, I actually like them. I like them. They're just different. I like the pockets at the front. So different. Love the top. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. It feels like cashmere. That's how soft it is. But Forever New would not, would not have fabric like cashmere, right? Because they are a kind of fast fashion brand. Okay, I need to change the hat because I have hat hair now. And so I need to wear some kind of hat. And I'm thinking that one or that one. That's too yellow. Yes, okay. So we'll put on a cream beanie. I'm racing against the clock, my friends, because it's getting dark. Okay. Now, boots. I think I'm going to go with the tan boots because I could introduce black as well with my black riding boots and have a black bag. That would look very chic, but I cannot get these off. 
without help. So I can't put these on at the moment. I could go for Western boots. Let me, let me try the Western boots. I like the Western boots. Yes. Oh my God, I've got so many flyaways. They just drive me insane. Okay, now for the blazer. Oh wow, I love this. Oh gosh, these shoulder pads are very exaggerated. Oh my gosh. But when I put my hair in front, they don't look too bad. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you a head to toe look, but let's say I have to get a bag. I have to get a bag. Maybe my Teddy Blake bag. Okay, look at the details on this blazer. I love it. The tortoiseshell buttons. Oh my God, I absolutely love this. I love these jeans, you guys. Okay, a totally thrifted outfit bar the bag, Teddy Blake, and my Western boots from Bali. Thrifted beanie, thrifted blazer, Thrifted top, thrifted jeans. Well, this is vintage and I think the jeans are vintage as well. Oh my God, I love this. I have to give you guys a head to toe look. What do you guys think? How nice is it, right? How nice. Even the brown boots would look great. They are also vintage, but I think when you throw in a black shoe and a black boot, it just is a little more chic, a little more elevated. A tan bag and boot would give it a more casual vibe. And so, yeah, it's unexpected, the black accessories, but I absolutely love this outfit. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. I am gonna wear this tomorrow, I'm so, happy with these jeans. If you had told me that I was gonna be back into skinny jeans again, I would have laughed at you. But when they're high-waisted and with under the knee boots, these, these jeans are gonna look amazing with my black under the knee boots, those riding boots. But I am very happy. I am very happy with this thrift, you guys. Three items, okay, not, not a plethora of items, but I love every single piece. Love every single piece, a total of $21. You know, it's not about how many pieces you find, it's what you find. And lately, I am very picky, my friends. Very picky. And also, my style is changing. Now that I'm coming out the other end of my health crisis and I'm feeling a lot better, I feel like dressing up and I'm slowly saying goodbye to that sporty phase well not i'm not totally turning my back on it because i love a sporty vibe i can do sporty when i'm bumming around my you know the central coast where i live or if i'm going for a hike or just you know on the weekends casual but i'm just really finding my groove again wanting to look chic even my instagram has changed i'm just all about an elevated look you know really chic but my god i love this look i am in love with this outfit and i was upset that i only found three things i'm getting sidetracked sorry you guys i guess my friends that is a wrap on this riff with me i really hope you guys enjoy this outfit and i hope you enjoyed the thrift with me portion i know it's not many pieces but wow what an outfit, right? No, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start carrying on again. Somebody stop me. I cannot help myself, my friends. I cannot. Okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one. No, but seriously. I mean, this is, this is just amazing. It's freaking amazing. I freaking love it. 
and I've got to go show my mum.